Bonjour, ça va? So, le week-end dernier, c'est la fête nationale de la France, euh, le euh, Bastille Day. Euh, deux mes amis euh, sont, ou ont, sont arrivés euh, à Paris, um, from London. <laughs> There we go. Hello. Fabulous again. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Yeah, Welcome fresh, to Paris. Bienvenue. About. Alice knew exactly what she was doing the whole time. On the Saturday, she went to five museums, I think, before me and Lucy were even like out of bed, basically. And then me and Lucy, uh, nous sommes allés à la Tour Eiffel um, to meet Alice. Et, oh, et ensemble, nous avons, non, uh, nous sommes allés à la scène pour vent et pain. Baguette, croissant, au beurre. Oh, hang on, hang on. Un Paris vrai. And that was really nice, really lovely. So at school this week so far, and I'm filming this on the Wednesday, so um, as of Wednesday, nous avons appris uh, le passé composé, le futur poche et l'impératif. I'm really enjoying knowing the past tense and the future tense. I mean, apart from the obvious, like it immediately adds two whole new directions of time to like your ability to, to speak to people. I mean, that's pretty cool. But it means you can have such a, immediately such a more rich conversation with somebody because somebody can ask you a question, you can tell a story, or you can um, suggest an idea for the future, you know, let's go and do this. Overnight, you learn past and future and you can just engage so much more with the people you're speaking to so I have really enjoyed that and I'm enjoying kind of practicing it. I'm also getting much more confident with questions now in class. If I was learning German I would find it so much easier to like engage with the learning process, engage with the teacher and now I'm beginning to be able to do that in French which for me is pretty cool. Okay so other than that I have booked uh, Bordeaux for September. Yep, September. <laughs> it's a, a homestay I think. I think it's a family because the Airbnb page is run by, I think, probably the daughter, um, but it always it keeps on referring to like a family home and like us, and they've kind of said, we don't take people on for a month at a time, so come for a week, and if we like you, you can stay. Hopefully they'll let me stay. Uh, we've also been spending just an outrageous amount of time by the canal. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that like basically every picture I post is either at the canal or very close to the canal. Sorry. Bonjour Cassie. Ça va? Non, non. Uh, je suis awake. <laughs> okay, bye. Cassie's coming over apparently. Okay, right. Let's wrap this up. So, I've had a really nice first half of the week. I'm feeling myself getting stronger conversationally, but I'm hitting a bit of a wall with vocab. We were trying to play taboo the other day in class. Like where you have a word and you have to try and describe it and they have to try and guess what the word is, but you can't use the word, right? But the problem is I only know like 40 words so if you take one of those away and ask me to describe it I now have to use the 39 words I've got left to describe that 40th one and it's very hard but it's a fun game and Zach was suggesting that we go to like a pub or something and just play like the junior version of French taboo you know an Englishman a Russian uh, and two Americans just playing taboo in like horribly broken French with each other. Anyway. Maybe we can make a video about that, that'd be fun. Okay, thank you for watching um, and I will see you later on this week. Cheers! Au revoir! <laughs>